So let's talk about programming the G3 for a series progressive divider valve system. All right, let's do it. A typical series progressive system will consist of the pump, the divider valve, and a proximity switch, which goes from the divider valve to the sensor when input of the pump. Okay. All right, so to program the system, we're going to hold our up and down arrows for three seconds to enter setup mode again. We're going to be prompted to define what the sensor one input is. In the case of a series progressive system, we're going to want to select C1. Does that so stand for cycles again? Yep, that stands for cycles, okay. referencing a series progressive system. I'm going to enter the C1 value, and, I'm going to, and the next thing we're going to be prompted for is the number of cycles that the system needs to go through the divider valve before a pump cycle is complete. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to set it up for four divider valve cycles. All right. Enter that value. Now we'll be, be, be prompted for the on time. This is the amount of time that the pump will run before it expires and goes into a fault mode. I'm going to leave all of the pump offsettings the same, okay. as well as pre -lube. All right. I'm going to initiate a pump cycle by pressing the manual run button. You can see that what's displayed is the amount of time in the pump cycle remaining, as well as the number of divider valve cycles remaining. So it should count down those four cycles within that amount of time? Correct. Okay. And you can see that we had already, whenever a pump cycle is received, it's displayed on the display. Okay. It's shown on the display. Two. There. So you can see what happened here is the time expired before we achieved the number of divider valve counts that we um, set up. So that's the alarm for the fault. Yeah, so the fault lights uh, lit as well as the sensor one input. Okay. To clear the fault, I'm going to hold the reset button. I'm going to go back into my setup mode, leave C1 the same, four counts. I'm going to increase this time to a minute and 30 seconds. That should give us plenty of time for the divider valve to achieve to all get of those four, four cones. Mm -hmm. So you can see we've reached our four counts and the loop cycle is complete, the pump is stopped. Okay. 